thank you for taking the time to come here today. It's an important first step to show that your family means something to you and you're willing to work hard for it. Yes, we are. In today's session, we hope to just listen to each other and to introduce yourselves to me in this safe space. Really listen. And to do that, we need this. Huh? How to listen with a spoon? Whoever holds on to the spoon gets to speak, and no one else is allowed to say anything, to interrupt, to explain, to correct, to add. Just listen to the person holding the spoon. Understand? It's like karaoke. Whoever gets the microphone can sing. The others must keep quiet. Exactly. Now, who would like to start? <laughs> Dr. Lee. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, Dr. Lilian. I'm Shinsei Heng, also known as the Kung Fu Shinsei, because I'm as powerful as Hong Fei Hong. People come all the way from Woodlands, Jurong, Pasiris, and Ulu Siglap just to see me, because I'm the best. I'm also a much loved and respected grassroots leader in my community. And finally, oh, thank goodness. I'm also a grandfather to Brayden who wants to be just like me when he grows up. I am an inspiration to him and to a lot of other little boys. Thank you, Mr. Heng. Oh, you can call me Sinsei Heng or the Kung Fu Sinsei. Thank you, Sinsei Heng. Now, why do you think you're here? He he was here. Uh, my family depends so much on me. I only went away for a short while. I was overseas trying to get a better supplier to help my family. So I left them alone for a few weeks. But when I came back, oh, my shop and my family, all xiao liao. So I said, Lao children, we need to go for professional help. The shop was fine because I was looking after it. The reason we are here is because of Pierredin. Me? She has problems with her marriage. This is not about me or my marriage. It's family therapy. It's about all of us. I have the spoon. Dr. Lillian, the person holding the spoon is only supposed to talk about themselves, not other people, right? Dr. Lillian, people shouldn't get divorced without trying to work it out with Benny first, right? Stop talking about me. My daughter wasn't honest with Benny, and she lost such a good man. I wasn't honest. It's all a misunderstanding. I have the spoon. So? Talk about yourself. Maybe, Nelly, you can tell us more about what you think of marriage? I did so much for my daughter's marriage. I encouraged them to know each other. I helped Benny to understand Geraldine. I helped them when they were fighting. I give them so much advice. But Geraldine never listens. And I'm not listening to any more of this. Hey, don't go. Hey, when can I have the spoon again? What I'm hearing is that you helped your daughter and Benny a lot. I did so much for them. I did everything for them. For a family to function healthily, there must be boundaries. Of course! Do you think by doing so much for Geraldine and Benny, you might have crossed those boundaries? Do you think that could have contributed to the breakdown of the marriage? I have their marriage! How can you say it's my fault? The marriage didn't work out! Everything I do is for my family. And you're saying that my family is like this because of me? What nonsense! Nelly, it's very clear how much you love your family and take care of them. No one would deny that. But sometimes, solving their problems for them is not a solution. I think she's like that because she's the eldest child. Keep quiet. You are a sensei, not a psychologist. I read somewhere. Do you think you take on the burdens of everyone around you? Uh, she does. You can ask her father and her sister. She always, uh, hey, why did you do this? Why didn't you do that? I told you to do this. I told you not to do that. Thank you, Sinsei Heng. Anthony, Geraldine, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it's true. Anthony? Um, Ma does tell me what's best for me a lot. And it's not good? You don't appreciate it? You don't appreciate me? 
Never mind. Then I'll go. Oh, no.